I have like an hour? Uh, you have an hour, yeah. Okay, thank you. Uh, <laughs> um, I, I just want to make some, um, some informal remarks about teaching online at Yale. Um, this is going to be brief. Um, I know there's a Q&A period, but if anybody's interested in doing it and wants an honest assessment of what it's like in detail, I can't get into here, um, just phone me or shoot me an email, and, and I'm happy to follow up with anybody. Um, I've taught at the two sort of extreme scales, uh, the very small and the very large regarding online courses. Um, the small one is a summer course, which I've been involved in teaching uh, for the last two summers, and I'm planning to teach it next summer. And this came from, I, I taught the Devane lectures a few years ago on moralities of everyday life. And I decided to use, and these were filmed, and I decided to use this as a basis for a summer course. So um, the, the, the course, I would interact with students over the summer. There would be a small group of students, between 14 and 18. Um, they would watch the class, the, the videotaped class, and then they would interact with me. And then they would interact with me once a week, um, and they would also interact with a teaching fellow. Um, and we would do so over a laptop. So there was a, you know, a software that you see all the students' faces, and, and you, you interact in ACU and so on. And I don't have that much to say about it, because in many regards, it was perfectly indistinguishable from teaching any other course. Um, it had certain uh, disad uh, uh, disadvantages. I think um, I still prefer um, meeting people in the flesh. I still prefer the actual sort of stand looking at them and seeing them. Um, there's a reason why we're all here instead of sort of on the screen. Um, but, but there were also certain advantages. Uh, I found a class moved a lot quicker and I was much able, better able to monitor um, the, the, the student's uh, uh, performance and relative contribution and so on um, as they, you know, and I would point to them and name them, and I felt that there was much more contribution. We sped things up a little bit. Um, uh, another advantage is the simple convenience of it. The first time I taught this course uh, was in China. And I just did a 12-hour time difference, but it, we, just, we just made our way through it. Um, then there's this everyday convenience of not having to go to an actual room and find your way there. And you don't even have to wear pants, actually, <laughs> um, which is important. Um, so, so, so on a large scale, uh, uh, I'm also involved in teaching a MOOC. This is my uh, moralities course, but this time I'm doing it again. Um, I'm, I'm taping it at the Yale Studios. Um, and uh, right now I have uh, about 46,000 students enrolled in the course. Um, somebody emailed me today to tell me that he's dropping it, so I have one less. <laughs> um, I appreciate it. Um, it, it, it. It's hard for me to get into too much details about the pros and cons because it hasn't started yet. I'll know a lot more uh, in a month. Um, I'll tell you one con which I didn't expect, which is that the way I, I, I'm doing this course is I'm going to the studios and, and presenting my lectures uh, while cameramen film me. And I, I had never imagined how difficult it is to teach to, to nobody. Um, it, it, is, it, is, it is now my new, I think it's a very good metaphor for hell, <laughs> to stand and try to be funny and engaging to total silence. And then afterwards, the, you know, the cameraman came over and said, I thought, Something you said might have been amusing. Um, uh, so, so we're taping it. What we're going to do now, we're, we're done taping. What we're going to do now is going to add quizzes for the, the courses. We're going to add exams. Um, when it launches in January, uh, along with an extremely competent teaching fellow, I'm going to hold office hours, meaning that people will email me questions, and then we'll, we'll do a, a Q&A. The teaching fellow will, will give me the questions. I'll answer them. Um, I'm going to invite guests over, and again, the students will provide me with questions to ask the guests. The guests are going to be uh, major figures in my, in my field, some who have already agreed to participate. And we're going to construct some sort of social media for, uh, for the students to interact uh, with one another. Um, I've heard a critic describe MOOCs as books on tape. I like books on tape. Um, I, I, you know, in some way, yeah, it's a book on tape. I'm, I'm quite comfortable creating a book on tape. I think that that's, that's a fine contribution. A book on tape with some quizzes and exams and social media and some sort of contact additionally. Um, I think it falls, I, I don't think a MOOC is going to replace a seminar. I'd much rather, I think I'd much rather myself or much rather my son who's going to college next year take seminars than MOOCs. On the other hand, what this MOOC used to be was a large lecture course. And the MOOC's probably better than that. Large lecture courses, you know, if we didn't already have them and somebody proposed them, people would say, what a ridiculous idea. Um, and I'm saying that as somebody who's teaching one next semester, so I'm not giving anybody a hard time. Um, I, I, I'm finding this exciting, uh, much more difficult than I would have imagined, and I'm looking forward to seeing how it works out. Thank you. <laughs>